So for us, the hazard analysis begins with the estimator or consultant. When he first goes out on the job, if it's a re-roof situation, he will conduct that first hazard analysis and have that as part of his uh, estimate. And then as the foreman is working on the job, they will make adaptions or corrections as the job progresses and different hazards will show themselves. Uh, because the more you look at a job, the more you'll find, the more potentials you'll find for hazards. So for us, we feel it's very important to start at the beginning and then that continues all the way through the job. Weather can definitely play a huge factor in the hazard analysis uh, with what's going on. Um, when the estimator goes out, it might be a beautiful sunny day. And then the first day the crew shows up, there might be frost on the roof. Uh, at that point, the hazard analysis and the safety situations change. The foreman will make those corrections to make sure that everything is in compliance. Well, I take my foreman out uh, and then he, we walk around the buildings. We see all the hazards. We usually go and see what kind of uh, um, equipment we're gonna need, safety and all this stuff. And then I tell him what I think we're gonna be using. And then after that, he, he's, he tells me what he thinks is the best because they are the ones gonna be working on the roof because they're using that every day. So yeah. Supervisors in our company play a huge role in ensuring safety with the crew. Um, they've been trained um, by, by our safety director and they know our policies inside now, what's right, what's wrong, what we can and can't do. And so when they go to the job site to check uh, on the progress of the job itself and talk with the homeowner, part of their checks are checking on safety, making sure that their anchors are set properly, that their ropes are hooked up, ladder safety, this the, the, whole, the whole gamut of safety items that we look at. And so there are eyes out there when our safety director can't be there. Um, and if they do detect an issue, they're gonna change it with the crew right then and there. Say, hey, this is what needs to be done. And then they will report to our safety director to ensure that he knows what's going on, what crew it was, what employee was, um, you know, not being safe. Uh, if it's a major issue, the supervisor will, will contact our safety director immediately and get out there and he'll, you know, address the situation. But the supervisor will pull the guys off the crew to take them out of that safety hazardous scenario. We, we have a lot of crews, so the safety director can't get to every single crew every day. We definitely you know see the crews at least twice a week, every single one. Um, but he'll he'll grab three to five a day and go out and look at the entire the entire job, all the safety when it comes to fall protection, to ladders, to uh, where is our dump trucks and trailers placed, just the overall safety on the job. And he takes a lot of pictures um, and then works with the crew if there are any issues, fix the problem right then and there. And then he puts together a full report with the pictures of what was good and what was uh, needs improvement and what discussions he did have with the crew and the employees. Um, and then he emails this to me uh, daily so I can review and then we put together a plan at that point if one's needed. When a worker finds a hazard on the roof, we empower our employees to take care of the issue right then. That's, there's no reason to take the time to go tell somebody else and wait for that to get fixed. So we empower our employees. If there's a skylight that is you know, on the roof that was not noted, that needs to be covered up with a sheet of plywood, that employee right then will communicate to the foreman, but at the same time, he's going to get the sheet of plywood to replace that, or they are going to get that sheet of plywood to cover that skylight. Every house is a little different, and so that's the big thing. Different than when you go to a factory, everything's the same. Uh, but when they show up to work, it's every day is gonna be different. So what is the roof look, the pitch of it? where it's located, how many trees are around, power lines, all that kind of stuff. They've got to look at that each day because it's always changing. And so, and then making sure that we can provide um, fall protection anchors where they need them and where they will be the most effective and not causing issues for them. So really kind of taking a look at um, the roof up front um, getting ideas from the estimators, even if they notice something that's kind of tricky, um, that we have the time to put together plans before the crew shows up so that we can provide them uh, with the assistance, with the support, with showing where these anchors are, um, maybe tricky parts of the roof that they need to know ahead of time uh, so that they can be uh, well equipped and, and ready to start the, the job when they get there.